Hey everybody, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Today, I'm going to be putting together the Icobi brand medium carport. And I'm going to show you how to assemble this step by step. Now the first step, which actually took me the longest time, fun enough, is to find a convenient and good location to set up your carport. I chose our second driveway and I chose a somewhat level area and you don't want to be under direct trees or branches where something could fall on it and damage your carport. So that's why I chose this area here for the carport. For the longest life for the carport, you want to avoid any objects falling on it. Now there are three boxes came with this kit. One is the canopy itself, the canvas top, which we're going to put aside until later. That'll come at the end. And the other two are the frame pieces. Now these are double box, which is very good. So they made it very well in shipping. And in these boxes are all your pieces. Now, conveniently, in the two separate boxes, you have MCL for left, and you have MCR for right. So this is all your left side frame pieces, and there's all your right side frame pieces. Now the first thing I do is lay out all the parts and take stock of parts. I have the left on this side, and the right parts on that side. So everything is there and now we can begin assembly. Now you take your left and right base pieces and lay them out in their permanent location. Now you connect, I have MCR002, 003, and 004. I'm gonna start on the middle frame pieces and I've got the same on the other side with the L's. Put the bolt through and put your screw on, or your nut on. Well, this one has a curved side which is going to face towards the other pole. Very important to pay attention to that when you put this on. In this point, it might be easier to have an extra hand. To help line up the holes. And now, lay that aside. And we'll get the other side. Now for the next step, you use the longer screws. And I'm gonna assemble this on the bottom and then lift it up. Slide this on here until it snaps in place. Nice and neatly. And then put your screw through both of these. And that should stand on its own, and I'll go do the other side as well. Now I'm going to join these two together. I have not yet tightened the screws, but you could have done so or could do so already. And then, you might need a ladder if you're short, snap them together. 
Now you've got your frame and a good idea of the size of your carport. So this is a good time to reposition. This is dead center and it's going to extend out this way and this way. So it's a perfect time to reposition your carport where you want it to stay. Now they've conveniently provided two wrenches. You don't even have to provide your own tools. So you can go ahead and tighten these screws now at this point with the wrenches they give you. Really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and do all the screws now. Now for the next step, everything's pretty much the same. I've got my MCL 001s and my MCL 005s divided in half, five here and five here in their pairs. And in the right side, five front, five back in their pairs. I have conveniently laid out the um, nuts and the bolts and the wrenches so I can assemble this quickly and efficiently. Now for this next step, I'm going to put these the legs into the frame. get them all in there. So I've just put these together for now and to make my job easier I'll put them on after. I'm going to go ahead and do the other four places. I'm going to do the, the, the back on the right side and then the front and back on the left side as well and then I'll be back when that's done. I'd like to point out that something I've noticed to make assembly easier there's an indented side and a not indented side and I put the screw through from the outside in through the indented side and then I can easily find that hole it, it seems to go better, much, much better this way. So I got the indented side. You can feel the, the indentation on this side. It just makes the screw go in and all the way through so much quicker like this. I did not see this in the instructions. It's something I just noticed myself during assembly and it's really helpful. Now for this next step, I'm going to take a right piece and a left piece and assemble them together in the middle first. Now I can go ahead and assemble it onto the frames, the legs, and lock them in place. Make sure the tabs pop in place for you, both of them. Now I'll do one more while you watch. And to start it, I'm just setting it on. started and then I can come over and pop those tabs and so on and so on now I have the frame assembled except for 
the last bottom piece. Do not put the frame together on the bottom piece yet. We still have to put the canvas on. So I set those pieces aside for now. Now for this next step, I've laid the canvas upside down, basically inside out, with the starting edge here laying off to the side of my frame. Because I have to start out and put these end pieces through and connect them. So these will slide through the canvas. And then there's a metal piece that goes in the middle. Make sure you pop your tabs out properly. Now this next step, I'm gonna take the arm off this. I do not see it in the instructions, but I'm gonna take this off because it inserts through the canvas on each side and it's especially important on the end because that's going to hold the canvas to the ground for you Now, put your pins back in. For this to work out better, I'm gonna undo the middle first. And then I have room to flexibility to get this piece on. Now I can put this part back in. Okay. Now I'm going to flip this back around so I can put those poles back where they go. Okay, I'll readjust the canvas on the pole. Now, in the next position, there's Velcro. over the top of the pole okay and there's two of them
All right, that pole's done. I'm going to put the Velcro on the next pole in line on the, from the roof. And now I'll do the next one, and then the next one. And we'll get these done, and I'll be back in a minute. Now for this part I have assistance because the canvas is quite heavy. And we're going to lift the canvas up over the top of the frame. Now there's the half of it. Now for the rest of the assembly, I'm going to go inside and take you with me. Now you can see where the Velcro is holding on the top posts and without before I grabbed the camera I went ahead and attached the center top velcro now I'm going to go and attach these two points next All right, now I'll do the other side as well. Now inside, I'm going to bring a pole in and up. Bring that into position. Get that Velcro on. Now I'm going to do the last couple pulls as well, and then I'll be back in a minute. Now, at the very end, I'm going to do the same thing on this side as I did on the start. I'm going to take the pole off. And run it through the canvas. Now, I'll stick these poles through and attach them.
Now the trickiest part on the other end was getting this piece on. So, again, I did not fasten the center. Not screwing any of these ends together helps a lot to make this work. And then you can put them back together. Then attach your two ends in the middle. Put the frame piece back together. And I have to get the Velcro on the bottom of the frame. So down here is some Velcro on the very bottom. And a couple points. So we have to go under the frame Now, for this step, I'm gonna close the lid back down. Now, I'll get these other two pieces on under the frame. You probably will need assistance for this part. It is quite heavy. And I'll get the other side. One thing I did not show, I had my wife open the window while I was doing the assembly. But there's quick, very simple windows with Velcro enclosures. Now, to open this is very simple. Lift up and keep pushing and it stays open on its own. It is very convenient. Now one thing, I've got the instructions here and I have a couple parts left over from my personal assembly. I'd like to note, these are anchors for your carport. Also another locking, uh, a latching mechanism and lock which I'm on the ground on soil, so this won't do me any good. I am going to anchor the carport differently myself because we're on sandy soil here. But if you're doing this, the next step would be to put the anchors in place, as you see here in the diagram. And that's it. Inside there's plenty of space in front of the car. 
plenty of space to walk around plenty of space in behind and still room on the side now I won't be getting in and out on this side and that's why I put it off center but now I can get in and out with ease plenty of room to get in and out of the car well I hope that helps you guys on how to set up the iKubi carport this and it is incredibly simple to set up and incredibly simple to use now our nice little old Cadillac is safe and sound well thanks for watching guys this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project <laughs>